What's going on everybody? Brandon Fry here with another how-to video to help you guys make the most of the Steemit platform. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how to change your upvote power when you're upvoting posts on the Steemit platform. So without further delay, let's get right into it, guys. Well, let's first ask the question, why should you even care about what percentage you're upvoting other people's stuff? Why should you even care about voting up 100% or 25% or 50%? Why does that matter? Well, you may not know this, especially if you're brand new to the Steemit platform, but as you vote on stuff, the more you vote on stuff in a certain time period, your voting power decreases, meaning you're not giving your full upvote, the full monetary value of your vote. It does regenerate over time, and I actually had this question earlier, and I was like, I have to look this up before I make this video to share what, at what speed you know, your upvote power regenerates. So let me look at this, uh, this post real quick I looked up a minute ago, and thanks to Psycho Chica, um, if you stop voting all together, okay, let's say you, you went and voted like 20 times one day. You voted 100% on a bunch of stuff, and your power's been drained um, all the way down to, let's say, 70%. Well, let's say, this person's saying right here, if you stop voting altogether, you'll see roughly 1% regeneration per hour. But each 100% vote reduces your power by 2%. So it's hard to say exactly without knowing all the percentages you voted with, um, and if you have the slider bar available. Um, technically, we are allocated, allocated 10 100% full votes per day, which would cost 20% vote power. So they're saying that if you voted 10 times with 100% upvote, it would re it would reduce your voting power to 80% for that day, and it would take 1% uh, per hour to regenerate that. So it would take 20 hours, about a full day, to regenerate that 20% to get you back up to your 100% vote power, right? So uh, they also said, I've heard some people recently say that vote power percent was going down a little faster than the 2% per full vote, but I've not tested this at all. Okay, so yeah, there's a couple of different uh, opinions about how fast it, it regenerates um, and how much it costs per upvote at 100%. You know. But what you need to know, and this is what's really important, is that as you upvote other people's stuff, it does decrease your voting power. That does regenerate, though. Okay, so that's all you really need to know about that. Now, um, if you want to check what your current voting power is at, there's a cool site called Steam Supply. So if you go to steam.supply, and uh, let me refresh this real quick, make sure we got the most accurate information. But if you go to this site, it will actually give you your current voting power, your current vote worth, um, and some other stuff, like what is your total account value and all that. So as you can see right here, my current voting power is currently at 22, I'm sorry, 72.86%. Current vote worth is only five cents. So I've let it get down a little lower than I like, guys. I actually like to keep my voting power at about 80% or higher. Um, so that means about 20, you know, 20 upvotes per day. Um, and of course, when I first started out, I was really voting on a lot of stuff. I didn't understand this at all. So it's taken me a little while to get my vote even up to 80%, it took a while to get it back up to there. So now I'm kind of laying off a little bit. Now I do see stuff from some of my friends and even my girlfriend and some other people that I, I love, you know, I want to upvote and share the love with them. So I do upvote them. Um, but as I'm sitting here trying to get my vote power back up to 100%, I was starting to think, like I was starting to ask myself, well, why isn't there a way to decrease the voting power per vote? Like why can't, why isn't there a sliding scale to do like 50% upvote or 75% upvote? Well, I found the answer. There actually is a way to do that, and I'm going to show you that in this video. Now, first of all, I just want to explain um, something else real quick. If you go to your Steam wallet, here's my Steam wallet, and you can see my account's currently estimated value at $662. Uh, my current Steam power is 210 Steam. That's what determines your upvote value. So like it just said, my upvote currently at 72% is $0.05. Cents. I think normally at 100% it's like $0.07 cents or something like that. Um, so this is what determines your, your vote power. So if you're wanting to boost your voting power, you need to boost your steam, your steam power. So the one way you could do that, and which is what I've done, is purchase steam dollars, <clears throat> right? You can just click right here and buy steam or steam power directly. You can purchase steam and then, you know, power it up to steam power, or you can just directly buy steam power. I've done both of them. So I'm actually putting money into my account to, to put, I guess really to, you can look at it as investing back in the platform and investing in the community of Steam. And, um, and that in return actually gives me more voting power and allows me to share the love, of, as I say, to other people on the Steam uh, platform. So that's how you can check your Steam power, which determines your, your voting worth. But I just wanted to show you that real quick, okay? And that's in your wallet. 
Now, back on Steam Supply, okay, this is where you can see what your current voting power is, 72.86% is what mine's currently at. So just go to steam.supply, put in your username, look it up, and you can actually look up anybody's username right here. Again, everything on the Steam blockchain is uh, out in the open, right? It's a public uh, blockchain. So um, that's how you can check that. Now, if you're a person, if you're a, um, let's say, let me go here and just go to my feed real quick. So let's just click on something. My friend J.R. Miller, if you go to his post right here, and I already upvoted this one, but if you have a steam power of, and I'm not 100% sure of what the exact value is, I'm not sure if anybody really does, but the whales out there have the option when they go to upvote something, there's actually a scale that pops up where they can choose if they want to vote 10%, 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100% on this post. It allows them the ability to choose at what percent they want to. And that kind of makes sense, though, for people who have bigger accounts. You know, some of their votes are worth, you know, 50 bucks or more. So, of course, they don't want to um, use that all in one place. They don't want to, you know, use up all of their, their voting power. So they are given a scale down here um, to choose at what percentage they want to upvote a post or a reply. And again, that I believe it's in between somewhere around 300 steam power and 500 steam power. So I should be getting that soon. But in the meantime, I don't have that option. When I go to upvote something, I'm just like you guys. I am upvoting at 100% every single time by default. You know, there's no way to change that. Or is there? <laughs> okay, here's a site that I found today. It's called busy.org. Go to busy.org. You can log in with the, the exact same Steemit username and password that they gave you. If you don't remember your password, that was probably sent out to, in an email to you. You can also find it in your uh, wallet under settings. Uh, I think it's under security or whatever. Okay, so um, you can log into busy.org with your, your main Steemit uh, profile login information. And right here, you'll see your feed just like you would anywhere else. Now, the difference here is that you can actually choose at what percent you want to upvote somebody's stuff. So in the case like myself, I like to upvote on quite a bit of stuff. I like to share the love in the community, but I can't afford to do 100% upvotes on 30 things a day or else I'll just deplete all of my voting power and it won't be worth anything. So I don't want to do that. Plus, I want to regenerate my power back up to 100% as soon as I possibly can, but I don't want to like stop upvoting stuff just, just in the meantime so that'll regenerate. So this gives me the option to still upvote just at a smaller percentage so it doesn't kill me, so it doesn't kill my upvoting power. So the way you'll do this, and let me just go into settings here. So once you first log in here, go directly into settings. And at the settings tab, you can choose to enable slider. I would recommend choosing enable slider. I'll show you what that does in just a moment. Um, you can also choose your default, default vote percentage. So if you didn't have that slider available, you can choose like 50%, um, what language, English, display NSFW, which means not safe for work. No, I don't want that. So just click save. So now what that means is on the busy.org site, my default vote will be 50%. That doesn't mean in the Steemit platform, just like when I'm regularly on Steemit going through stuff, that doesn't mean it'll be 50% there. It'll still be 100% there. So this is only, you know, this only works with the busy.org. These settings right here only affect the busy.org site. Okay. So now if I go back to busy.org, if I just go back to the main page here, so let's say these steam cleaner posts, um, and I do follow steam cleaners. I like what they do, by the way. Um, now, if I click on this, this post, I can actually read it in full detail. If I just want to upvote it, see, it says like 50% now. Now, I did enable the slider, and again, I do recommend you guys go into settings and enable this slider here. Make sure you click save at the bottom of the page. But now, if I go to upvote this, you see this slider pop up. Now, that's... I think that's similar to what the whales see. And when I say whales, guys, I mean guys who have big accounts on Steemit. I have a feeling this is pretty much exactly what they see on the main Steemit platform. So once you get up to, I think it's 300 to 500 Steam power, then you will see this underneath the post you're trying to upvote. At least that's the way I understand it. So um, you can change it to 25%, 1%. You can move it to 8%, 9%, whatever you want to do, and then hit confirm. So I just upvoted it by 8%. Okay, so that doesn't kill my voting power. That allows me to still regenerate my power, but still share the love a little bit with some other people and also share my gratitude for somebody's great content, you know. So guys, that's how you do that. Let me see if there's anything else on here. There's really nothing else on here you need to do. Uh, but again, this pulls up your, your exact feed that you would see in Steemit. 
So it's all the same post. You just get to choose what voting power you want to use on it. So I think that's brilliant and it's awesome. And I think it's very important for people who are new to Steambit to understand that you don't want to deplete all of your voting power in one day. Uh, again, I think it's only 10, 100% votes that you can do per day and that will decrease you by 20%. So you then you're at 80%. I would recommend not getting under 80%. Okay. And again, you go to steam.supply and check your username. You'll see this should decrease a little bit since I upvoted something. Uh, but that's what that's the way you can uh, and actually it went up because see that's what I mean guys <laughs> because it's it's regenerating right and so since I used a smaller voting percentage it's still going up right but I still got to vote on something so that's a cool thing to be able to do to be able to to um, minimize the impact of your upvotes on your account while still sharing the love to other people so I think that's that's brilliant guys so that's a cool site and I'm actually going to just go ahead and bookmark busy.org so I can use this on a regular basis um, and, um, and use that whenever I like. Okay. So guys, that's all for this video today. And if you guys have any questions about anything, if you, if you're, you know, new to steam it, you have a question that you don't feel has really properly been answered, or maybe you just can't find the answer anywhere. Feel free to let me know in a reply below this video, and I will be sure to look into it and hopefully get the answer for both of us. Cause I may not know as well, but I am more than happy to go out and figure it out for us and uh, make a video or a blog post or whatever and, and explain the answer to everybody in the community and make this a much better place, okay? So guys, we'll see you on the next video. I hope that's been helpful. Talk to you soon, guys.